Hi guys, we're the school's liaison team for Stafford College. My name's Tara. I'm Gareth. Hi, I'm Georgina. We've done this presentation to make sure that you're aware of all the courses that we offer here at Stafford College um, and to make sure you know all the options available to you after Year 11. If you don't know already, Stafford College is based in Stafford Town Centre. Um, that's where the bus station is. We're about five minutes from the train station and about two minutes from McDonald's. So obviously things are a little bit different at the moment. However, we still want to be here for you to allow you to gain all the information you need and to help you make informed decisions on your future options. Obviously, we'd normally be in your school doing college talks, parents' evenings, various other different tasters, but we can't do that. So instead, we've produced this short, snappy little presentation that gives you absolutely everything you need. But rest assured that we're always here at the end of a phone or email to help you. We don't like to shout about it, but if you didn't already know, we are an Ofsted Outstanding College. Surprisingly, this has nothing to do with the fact that we have a Costa on site, which is where you'll find us the majority of the time. Um, I won't read it all out to you, but as you can see, college isn't all just about studying. We want you to get involved in lots of different things. You can get your hair and makeup done. Uh, lads, you can get a trim for about five quid. You can join the student union and have your say of what goes on at Stafford College. You'll also get the opportunity to sit in on lecturer job interviews as well. Um, the Lego Robotics Club get pizza delivered to the college. So again, something different. And the trips are unreal. So New York being the most popular. You'll also see our honours programme at the bottom. This is a targeted programme for students who are thinking about going to a prestigious university like the Russell Group, such as Oxford in Cambridge and um, also students that are thinking they want to study medicine or law. It's an extra program that you'll be a part of alongside your A-levels and you'll take part in extracurricular activities, you'll go on trips and you'll also have the opportunity to study an extra qualification to improve your university application. What's next for you? Start by doing your own research which you can do by visiting our website where there's a lot more information. If you find a course of interest, click on Print Course Info. This will bring up a lot more information on that subject. Another good thing to do is find your most suitable learning style. So at the college, we offer BTECs, A-levels and apprenticeships, and we'll go through each course through the presentation. If you can and it's available, look at booking a careers appointment with your careers advisor. You can also ask any friends or family who may have been to college and they can advise you on their own experiences. You'll get to visit college open events. Now at the start it might be virtual, but these will be very helpful to you and can give you a good insight into the college. You will then fill out an application form. Our deadline is March, but the sooner you get your application form in, the sooner you'll get your interview date. And then come September, you'll then start your chosen course and the best part, you'll get your student ID card for your student discount. OK, now we're going to look at entry requirements. So this is the single most important slide on the whole presentation. It basically tells you what you need to get out of this year to get onto the college course that you deserve to study on. So we're going to start bottom right at entry level. So you need no formal qualifications to get into college at all but you would be starting on an entry level course, which takes one year. Then you'd progress on to level one, which is another year. Then progress on to level two, another year. Bear in mind your GCSEs are a level two qualification. So we're always aiming for a level three. Then you'd progress on to level three, which is two years. So all level three qualifications are two years. That's what we're looking for. So if you started on entry all the way through to finishing college, you would be at college for five years. That is that essentially the whole of high school again. So top left, we're going to start with A-levels. At the moment, they have changed. So the entry requirements now require you to have five GCTs at grade five and above, and they must include English and maths. Now, for certain subjects, these can be discussed at interview, but realistically, you need to be aiming for those five. Yeah, don't be sit on the fence. I know for some students, it might be quite difficult to get it. So you will be prepared to talk about this at interview for sort of non-academic A-levels. But realistically, absolutely go for it. Looking for grade sixes in the subjects you want to study at A-level. And if you've got the potential to get higher than the minimum entry requirements, then you go for it. This is your one shot at doing it. 
Vocational course is slightly different. That's four GCSEs at four and above. Again, English and Maths, if you don't get an English and Maths in a vocational course, you will be required to resit it. That is a big issue. So make sure you get it in school where your teachers know your strengths and weaknesses. In addition, some of the extra GCSEs you're taking are going to be very useful for college courses. So you do really well on your IT, you want to do engineering, that's linked particularly well. You want to do sports science at college, then a GCSE biology is incredibly useful. Apprenticeships, we are looking at the best profile that you can provide as possible because you are competing with college leavers and adults for job vacancies out there. So if you must have your English and maths because a company doesn't will have to lose you for a few days to redo something that you should have probably got within school when they can pick students who've already got those subjects. And again, if you're doing certain subjects like IT subjects as well, that's going to uh, really put you ahead, then that's incredibly useful. My message is look at your whole GCC profile. How does that going to look to a college? How's that going to look to an employer? All the information will be on the website. All the information will be in the prospectus and absolutely go for it year 11. This is your time. So here you'll see a list of the A-levels that we offer at Stafford College. There'll be subjects that you recognise, your biology, geography, maths, um, and also subjects that you may not have had the opportunity to study before, such as film, graphics, media, and sociology. For the subjects that you haven't studied before, we would ask you to get a grades five to six in a relevant subject. So this is where all your GCSEs become important, guys, not just your maths, English, and science. Um, I won't talk you through the full list because you'll fall asleep, but if you go on our website, you'll be able to see all the units that you'll study within that area so you can decide whether that subject is right for you or not. Um, I will point out the box in the corner, which is our BTEC subjects, which are there to be studied alongside two A-levels. This is so that you can mix your learning styles. Um, A-levels are mainly exam based, so you will study them for two years, you'll have a big exam at the end and that will be your grade. Whereas these BTECs are mainly coursework based, so you'll be gaining constant feedback from your lecturer to try and improve your grades. You'll also have the opportunity to resit any exams that may be within that BTEC as well, which you can't do with an A-level. Um, these are looked upon highly by universities and as you can see there's some quite interesting subjects. So our most popular one is criminology which is the scientific study of criminal behaviour. So you'll get to investigate why people commit crime all the way up to understanding the punishments given. So you can see there's a lot of different subjects here so please make sure you do your research and go onto the website and read all about that subject. I'm now going to run through a list of vocational subjects. These are BTEC qualifications, meaning you would only choose one subject to study at college. BTEC courses are hands-on with lots of practical elements, work experience and mainly coursework based with some exams. So starting with art, we offer a range of subjects within art, such as animation, graphics, games design, fashion, textiles and photography. So as you can see, these are very hands-on subjects, so if you are creative, make sure you have a look at these different subjects on the website to see if there's any that you would be interested in. Applied Science, this is a great course for anyone wanting a career in science. You will study at our on-site state-of-the-art labs and develop a range of practical skills and science knowledge. Business Computing and IT three separate courses. So within business, you will gain skills and knowledge from management to recruitment and HR to events. Accounting, you will study payroll, business, law, computerised accounting and everything needed for a career in finance. IT speaks for itself, but obviously there's so many different units within IT that you will study um, and you'll be able to specialise in your career choice for the future or anything that you want to study at university. So make sure you have a look on the website for much more information. On to construction, we offer brickwork, joinery and electrical. You will study at our on-site live construction centre, working practically and perfecting your skill for your chosen trade, whilst gaining a recognised qualification ready for work in construction. Engineering, you'll study a range of engineering units through a variety of activities from workshops and practical sessions gaining all the knowledge required 
for a career in engineering. Childcare, you will learn to educate children from birth to eight years old and gain knowledge and skills to work within nurseries, children's centres, become a childminder or even work in a primary school. There's lots of ex work experience incorporated into this course, over 750 hours, which generally equates to two days, making sure you're very prepared um, for your future in childcare. Health and social care. This course will provide you with the skills to work in a range of health and social care environments, from working with the elderly to becoming a support worker. Also, in year two, you also have the option to study Health Pathway, which is a great course to progress into midwifery. Motor Vehicle. This course is run at our construction department. You will study all aspects of motor vehicle, from welding and repairing to working on hybrid technology. As you can see in the box at the bottom of the screen, we are in the process of building a hybrid technology centre sponsored by Tesla, which is purpose built for our fleet of five hybrid vehicles, such as the BMW i8 as shown in the picture. So careers in this area could include roadside technician, HGV mechanic, or even bodywork expert. If you want to have a look on the website, under the course details, this will provide you with all the subjects that you will study within this area. From um, working in the classroom to working practically in the workshop. Okay, as you can see now, we've got some even more of our wonderful BTEC vocational courses at the top there looking at music. So we've got a music performance course. So if you are a vocalist, you are a guitar player, drummer, or you play any musical instrument, you can get a recognised qualification playing one of those instruments. We also have fantastic routes for our music technology students. So you like behind the scenes, you like editing, you like composing songs and making sure they sound absolutely perfect. We've got an uh, industry standard recording studio for you to use that will enable our students to progress on to HE, do music technology, work in big production companies around the country. We've got a lovely range of performing arts, production arts courses as well. So that's more focusing on the musical theatre style. So looking at your singing, acting, dancing, but moving into theatre, theatrical uh, work. Um, if that's something that you've done in school and you've really enjoyed, then you can continue at Stafford College. You can also see our hair, beauty and makeup artistry courses. If you want to not just work in a salon or becoming a beautician, but a makeup artist, imagine working in TV and film and doing that elaborate, beautiful makeup work for the actors and actresses. We've got a, a hair and media makeup um, module as well, where you can really spend a lot of time getting to grips with gory, horror, latex face coverings and, and uh, areas like that that are going to really make your CV and your portfolio stand out when applying for degrees in those areas. Stafford College has a commercial hair salon as well, so paying members of the public come in and get their hair caught, they get a treatment, and it's something that the college does very well. As you can see, we've got hospitality and catering, so we've got an award-winning Riverbank restaurant which is open to the general public. It's hands-on experience for our students to gain that wonderful opportunities to cook for the general public, cook for the Lord Mayor, cook for various different people that come in, friends and family, and really put a bespoke menu together to really establish yourself as a chef. Um, what that does beautifully is get you ready for industry. A lot of our catering students progress on to apprenticeships and become sous chefs, pastry chefs, and progress into become possibly earning um, a really good salary, running their own business one day in the future. Now, clearly COVID has had a big effect on travel and tourism, but what Stafford College has done incredibly well is put together a package where our students are working with a lot of holiday operators. So in the future, once travel starts picking up again, we will have jobs, holiday reps, travel agents, cabin crew. We're gonna give you all the skills that you need to progress within that career. So don't let what's happening around you at the moment affect your decision. If there's something you want to do, we still take students to airports, you know, historically they've gone on cruises and things like that. So really check out the open event, check out the, uh, the website for more information. Public services, this is the uniform service, so the police, the ambulance, the fire, the army, even the coast guard. It's incredibly outdoors based, they'll go uh, marines training in Devon, they'll go camping in Snowdonia. 
But one of the biggest things you need to be aware of in public services is you can't really go in the forces until you're 18. So this is a perfect course for you to go straight from school, learn your craft, find out what you really want to do, and then you can progress from there. And finally, we look at sports science, personal training instruction. Clearly, all the evidence is in the, in the title, sports science. A lot of science built into sport. It's not all practical. It's a lovely mix of practical and theory, anatomy, physiology, sports psychology. You want to be a physiotherapist, you want to be a PE teacher, you know, you want to do something within that specialism that you enjoy, then Stafford College could be for you. We've even got a personal training instruction. If you want to be a PT, you've done a lot of Joe Wicks during lockdown, and it's something that you've really enjoyed the last few months, you've enjoyed it in school. We have exceptional offsite facilities for our students to choose. So anything on there, check out more information. It's a fantastic option for you. This is our Football Academy, which is open to male and females, and you can do this alongside studying a level three qualification, including A-levels. You'll have training, um, analysis, and match day. You may need to take some time out of class to go to games, um, and that's fine because you'll get extra support from your lecturers and from the coaches. Our Academy head coach is ex ex-premiership footballer Andy Griffin. He used to play for Newcastle United and Stoke City alongside others. Um, and you can see from the slide, we've had lots of students that have gone on to really, really great clubs and um, that are forming fantastic careers for themselves. Even during college time, uh, some were playing for England and Wales under 18s. Okay, just on to apprenticeships now. Apprenticeships are work-based, meaning you will be in a work placement for four days and come to college for one day. Apprenticeships are great for those students who prefer to work in a hands-on environment. We offer a range of subjects, as you can see, and currently work with over 850 employers. And on the website, you can have a look at current live vacancies, which will give you an idea of where these work placements are based, the hours you'll be asked to work, and also how much the employers are paying. The important thing with an apprenticeship is to ensure you're getting the best GCSEs to make sure you get the placement that you want. And also, just on another note, you can do an apprenticeship at any age. So you could look at doing a full-time course first at college and then progress onto a higher education apprenticeship. NSCG's Academy of Sport is not a course that you would apply for. It is something that you would join if for the love of sport. If you've enjoyed sport in school, you've played in the netball team, the rugby team, the football team, this is something that the college offers for you, for everybody to take part in, no matter how good your ability is. We've got four or five football academies. We've got rugby academies, volleyball academies, netball academies. We have a highly successful England water polo player in Martha Warrelow as well and Greg Butler, who's a GB swimming athlete as well. So the talent is there. And the Academy of Sport will help develop your talent, will support you with funding. So in terms that money could go towards travel expenses, could go towards kit. And it's something that our staff and students pride themselves on. So because we do so many courses at Stafford College, we've got a huge campus with lots of different facilities. We've put this page together with some pictures of the facilities on, but obviously we can't fit them all on. Um, so you'll see the Riverbank restaurant where our students work and we have paying customers that come in. We've got the Mac Suite for students that are doing um, computer games design and fashion, fa uh, film and creative media courses, hair and beauty, uh, performing arts theatre, our 3.5 million science and technology centre and lastly our Lego studio which I know sounds very random but the college has spent quite a lot of money on Lego. You can see the robot in the picture, she cost us £16,000 and our students program her to do various different things and it's all about science, technology, engineering and math. New for 2022, this is our Skills and Innovation Hub that is currently being built. The college has spent 23 million on this, so it's got all state-of-the-art equipment in and will be used by all students with our construction and engineering workshops, a four-court sports hall, gym and a 300-seat auditorium. It's really important for a college to offer fantastic student support. 
our support team have been Ofsted Outstanding for many years now. It's really helped with students that are coming from school to college because it can be quite daunting. They are there even if you just want someone to chat to, it doesn't necessarily have to be about your studies and it is confidential as well. Additional learning support is available with a huge team here at the college. Um, anyone with specific learning difficulties or medical conditions should hopefully receive the same support that they receive in school, whether that be in-class support or just pastoral support. Careers advice is really important, obviously, if you're wanting a part-time job while you're at the college, but also more importantly, to think about what you're going to do when you leave the college. So we've got a trained careers advisor in universities, so she knows everything about entry requirements and what courses might be best for the career that you're interested in. And also careers advisors to talk to you about apprenticeships and going straight into employment. And lastly, you could be entitled to £20 a week um, if your parents earn below a certain amount you can apply for that online but we'll give you all that information once you apply to the college as you can see this is your school's liaison team so our main role is to support as many schools as we possibly can helping young people with that transition from school to college by organizing taster days attending parents evenings, sending presentations like this out to you to make sure you've got all the information you need to make an informed decision about which college course you can contact us directly on the website or email us at schools.stafford at nscg.ac.uk. Thank you for listening and we hope this presentation has been useful to you and that we've covered a subject that interests you. Please see the next slide for a list of our open event dates. Bear in mind the first one is virtual, however please keep up to date on our website for the next ones. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye-bye.